Jake here for American Trucks, and today I'm taking a look at the Beltec 2-3 inch drop leaf spring shackles fitting 2007 to 2018 Silverado and Sierra 1500s. If you're looking for an economical and simple way to lower the rear end of your truck, well, you are in luck here. These shackles are a great way to replace worn out stock bits and give your truck a different stance at the same time. And they come in at a price that is sure to please any budget. Now, while many of our customers prefer to lift their trucks, lowering them can be just as cool, heck, maybe even cooler, depending on who you ask. Me, personally, I love a lower truck, and Belltech has been one of the big names in lowering kits for quite some time. Now, thankfully, too, lowering a truck with leaf springs in the rear is pretty simple, hence this kit that we've got on the table. Now, these are meant to replace your factory rear shackles that hold the leaf springs to the frame of the truck. So instead of the longer ones that come from the factory, these are quite a bit shorter, giving you that two to three inch drop in the rear. Now, they also include brand new bushings in here, so everything is going to feel nice and factory fresh to help maintain that good ride quality. Now, two to three inch drop is going to give your truck a really nice stance. Not going to be slammed, but it is something that's going to be a little bit more mean and interesting. It's going to close that wheel gap just a bit. Now, of course, you're going to want to pair this with a front lowering kit as well, and we do have some different options for that, including some from Belltech on our site, so make sure you check those out too. Now, obviously, these are a pretty simple thing. There's not a whole lot going on here, but it is important that something simple like this, because it is dealing with your suspension, is done right. Now, obviously, these are a pretty simple thing. There's not a whole lot going on here on the table, but it's important that they're done right, especially because it's dealing with a critical suspension component. Now, Belltech engineers these for specific vehicle applications, so these are meant specifically for this generation of Silverado and Sierra. They can keep everything safe for you out on the road as well. Now, these are a direct bolt-on, so you don't need to modify anything either. The shackles themselves are constructed from heavy gauge stamped steel, and they feature a gloss black powder coat, Nice little Belltech logo on the back there too. And again, you get those new OEM quality vulcanized rubber bushings included too. So these should be just as if not more durable than your factory shackles. The other thing that you see included here as well are these U-bolt spacers. So you get obviously four for each side. We'll talk a little bit more about them when it comes to installation, but these are nice milled. They're all solid pieces and they're pretty hefty as well. So no need to worry about that. Just make sure you're going to be able to get your U-bolts off. But again, we'll talk more about that when we get to installation. The price, though, is perhaps the best part. There's not a whole lot to say here, but they are really affordable, as they're going to come in at just about $100. So it makes these a super economical way for you to lower the rear end of your truck. Now, I make no bones about it. I'm a big fan of anything that comes in at or below that $100 mark, especially if it's going to make an improvement in the way your vehicle drives, and such is the case here. Again, I might be more out on my own here in an island saying that I love a lowered truck, but I do like that stance, and I think these are going to give you just the right stance for not a whole lot of coins. So if that's what you're looking for, these are going to be a great bet for you. Installation of these shackles is going to come in at a two out of three on our difficulty meter, and the whole job should take you about two hours to complete. Now, it's not terribly difficult, but it does require you to do some disassembly. And like I mentioned earlier, you are going to have to loosen and remove those U-bolts. You've got to take one stock spacer out and put these new spacers in underneath to get everything where it needs to sit. And you are, of course, going to have to support that rear axle while you do it. And just be careful too, because you are dealing with leaf springs and those are under tension, even when the axle is dropped down. But enough talk about that. Let's head out to the install bay and we'll show you exactly what that process looks like and how to do it safely. Tools required for this install include an air gun, a hammer, a ratchet, a 13 16 ratcheting wrench, a pair of safety glasses, and 10 and 21 millimeter sockets. What's up guys? Today we're installing a set of lowering shackles on our Silverado, so let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is get our truck jacked up. If you're doing this on the ground, you're gonna to want to get your truck on jack stands and then get a jack underneath the axle because you're gonna to need to raise this to get one of the bolts out on the shackle. Now we're on a lift, so we're gonna be using a pole jack. That way we can still move the axle up and down. So now these are the two bolts that we need to remove. So I've got a 13 16 ratcheting wrench for our nut. And then you can grab the end of the stud with a 10 millimeter socket.
and then we can fully remove our nuts. Next, we're gonna to wanna to remove our bottom bolt. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have your axle very well supported. And then we can begin to tap that out. And now next, we're gonna to wanna to raise the axle. We have to get our top of the shackle here over the frame to be able to get this top bolt out. So now we can begin raising our pole jack to push the axle up. Now I don't have a lot of clearance here, so I'm gonna be doing this half turn at a time. Next, we have a pinch weld on the bottom side of our bed that we're gonna have to bend over towards the inside of the truck. That way we'll have enough clearance to get our shackle up and over the frame to get our bolt out. At the same time, we're gonna be adding that clearance because our new shackle is gonna go much higher and that'll give us some extra clearance we need to not hit that. So now right above our shackle here is our pinch weld that we're gonna be bending this way. Now, if your truck's as rusty as ours, it's a good idea to grab some safety glasses because you're gonna have rust flying. So now with our pinch weld bent out of the way and our pole jack raised up, we can go ahead and remove that top bolt. So now we're ready to install our new shackle. Now we have three different height settings here with the three different holes. The higher the hole you go, the lower it's gonna drop. We're gonna be installing it at its lowest setting, so we're gonna be at the top hole. So we'll slide this over, get our bolt slid through, and then we can do it on the other side, lower our axle back down, and get our lower bolts in. Now the side that's boxed in is gonna go towards the front of the truck. So now that we have our bolt slid through, we'll do that on the other side and then lower down our axle. So now we can begin to lower down our pole jacks. If you're doing it on the ground, you'll lower the jack that's underneath the pumpkin. So we'll just do this evenly. And keep an eye on our shackles. and now we can get those lower bolts installed. So now with everything lined up, I'm gonna thread that nut onto our top bolt. And then we can slide our lower bolt in from the back. And slide our nut on. And then we can grab that 13 16 ratcheting wrench and 10 millimeter socket and tighten both of these bolts down. So now with the pole jack still supporting the weight of the axle and putting a slight load on the axle, we can tighten down our two bolts. So now with our shackles installed, the hardest part is over. Now all we have left is to undo our four U-bolt nuts. We're gonna be removing our lift block and installing these spacers. So we'll remove those four 21 millimeter bolts and get this done. So now with our axle supported by some pole jacks or jack stands, we can grab a 21 millimeter socket and loosen up our four nuts.
So now next we can grab our U-bolts and slide those out of the way for right now. And I'm gonna slowly start to lower our axle with the pole jack until we have enough space to get our lift block out. Now we can pull up on our leaf spring a little bit, get our block out, and then we'll throw our two U-bolts back into place. Now we can throw our bracket back on. And then we'll be installing our spacers with the factory nut and washer. And now we can just raise up on our axle to get our axle to sit with our leaf spring. We have a little tab on our leaf spring that's gonna line up with a hole there. So just be mindful of that as you're raising it up. And now that we've got that in the hole, we can tighten down our four 21 millimeter nuts. Now at this point, Belltech recommends that you torque the two nuts down to their factory specifications as well as check those torque specs for the first 10, 100, and 1,000 miles. So once you get that done on one side, you can do the same thing on the other side and wrap this up. So that'll wrap up this review and install of the Belltech 2 to 3 inch drop leaf spring shackles for your 2007 to 18 Silverado 1500. Thank you for watching and for all things Silverado, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.